Their genes carry inherited mutations through generations of family members, bringing with them a significantly higher risk of a cancer diagnosis. Lynch syndrome is an inherited genetic mutation that is associated with an increased risk of endometrial, gastric, and ovarian cancers. It is also the number one cause of inherited colorectal cancer. Our story begins here. Take a look. When Jacqueline was 15, she had a lot of pain in her stomach and bleeding when she went to the bathroom. The doctor said, it can't be cancer because you don't get colon cancer at this age. Four years had gone by and many doctor visits and still no answers. Jacqueline was losing precious time. I got a call saying, you need to come here right now. He knew that it was cancer. His exact words were, she has cancer and it's big. Asking my mom, is she gonna be okay? And my mom not being able to know. She was in such physical pain. The genetic counselor said I'd be surprised if she didn't test positive. For one doctor to miss it, you know, you might understand. This was several doctors and all of them combined missed it completely. You talk to 10 different people and ask them about Lynch syndrome, you'd get a zero. If you went to 10 different doctors, you might find that four or five of them don't know. And that means that over a million people have Lynch syndrome and 95% of those people are unaware of it. Often referred to as a silent killer, Lynch syndrome is one of the most common hereditary cancer syndromes. However, it is surprisingly unknown among families and physicians alike. Since there are no specific symptoms associated with Lynch syndrome, the result is often too many people getting diagnosed at a later stage when it is harder to treat. Jacqueline died from colorectal cancer. You know, it really was a struggle for us to get the right answers. And, you know, Jacqueline went through a lot. It took four years for her to be properly diagnosed with cancer. And by that time, it was quite advanced. Actually, the doctor that did the colonoscopy said, I don't even have to wait for the biopsy report to come back. I know it's cancer. And while she was going through treatment for cancer, her oncologist suspected that she might have Lynch syndrome, actually because of her age. So that's how we, we found out. We talked to a genetic counselor and discussed our family history. Uh, one of the things that was tough for us is that there wasn't a lot of cancer in our family history. Really, the only person in our family that had colorectal cancer was her grandfather. She actually said to us, even though your family history doesn't show that she might have Lynch syndrome, I'd be very surprised if she didn't test positive. And in fact, she did. And then her dad was tested and he was positive too. Had we known it was in our genes, or had her doctor known there was something called Lynch syndrome, I'm sure her story would have been different. Following the loss of their daughter, Joan and Alan Rush formed the Jacqueline Rush Foundation with the mission to save lives by increasing awareness and research of Lynch syndrome, the underlying cause of Jacqueline's cancer. One of the things that spurred her dad and I to start the Jacqueline Rush Foundation was really the fact that all of our doctors had no clue what Lynch syndrome was. I think it was really surprising to us and actually made me kind of angry that the medical community didn't know about Lynch syndrome. So in 2015, after she passed away, um, we knew we had to do something to get this word out. I didn't want what happened to Jacqueline to happen to other people. Hereditary risk greatly increases the risk for cancer to develop, and in the case of those who have tested positive for Lynch syndrome, those families have dramatically increased risk for cancer versus the general population. Families with Lynch syndrome have a greater than 80% risk of developing colorectal cancer, and for women with Lynch syndrome, a more than 60% risk of developing endometrial cancer. Knowing if you have Lynch syndrome can provide your doctor with important information for implementing screening and surveillance programs. When you know you have Lynch syndrome, you can do many things that 
will help you greatly reduce your risk for getting cancer. You can do screening more frequently at a younger age. And after you have a family, you can consider risk-reducing surgeries. If you could do something that would prevent you from getting cancer, that could detect it early, wouldn't you want to know that? For those who have already been diagnosed with cancer, it is important that you ask your doctor to have a screening test performed on the tumor tissue as well to determine if your cancer is associated with Lynch syndrome. It is recommended by the National Comprehensive Cancer Network that all colorectal and endometrial cancer tumors be tested for a biomarker known as MSI High. Access Health caught up with Dr. Heather Tomlinson, Director of Clinical Diagnostics at Promega. Their research and development team has pioneered MSI testing. Understanding biomarkers within tumors can give us helpful information on how to best treat that particular tumor. Microsatellite Instability High, or MSI High, is a biomarker commonly associated with Lynch syndrome. When a tumor is known to be MSI High, it's essentially missing the spell check on the DNA. That's in contrast to tumors that behave more like normal cells, those are called microsatellite stable. If a tumor is MSI high, we can then do further testing to determine if it is Lynch associated. It's important to note that not all tumors that are MSI high are associated with Lynch syndrome and that's why further testing is needed. When we know a tumor is MSI high, it can help guide treatment decisions and it also enables treatment based on that biomarker specifically and not necessarily where the tumor originated in the body, possibly treating the tumor more effectively. Once diagnosed with cancer, regardless of the site of the tumor, understanding the MSI status of your tumor can inform the best therapy option, enabling access to a new and highly effective class of immune oncology drugs. In 2017, the FDA approved an immunotherapy drug based on specific genetic features of the tumor and not where the cancer originated in the body. Keytruda, an example of an immunotherapy drug, has been approved for all solid tumors regardless of where they originate in the body as long as they're MSI high. This is a first ever and game changer in cancer treatment. The combination of MSI high as a biomarker and immunotherapy really acknowledges the fact that we're getting more advanced in our ability to understand cancer and treat it and figure out how to really make a personalized approach for each individual based on what's happening in their body. So I feel like Jacqueline's death was caused by the perfect storm. We didn't know Lynch syndrome was in our family's genes. Her doctor had never heard of Lynch syndrome and her doctor thought she was too young to get colorectal cancer. Had any one of those three things been different, she'd still be here today. So knowing you have Lynch syndrome is really important. And the benefits of knowing is that it's life-saving, it's powerful, and it gives you the power to change your genetic destiny instead of leaving it up to fate. I feel like much hope is on the horizon for people with Lynch syndrome. You can take advantage of both preventive strategies as well as early detection if you know you're a carrier. Right now we have the first ever clinical trial for a vaccine for Lynch syndrome ongoing in the US. That's for healthy people who are Lynch syndrome carriers. And we continue to learn more and more about how to harness the power of our immune system to both prevent and treat cancer. So if you don't know that your tumor is MSI high, you can't take advantage of some of these newer treatment strategies. I'd like to thank Joan for sharing such a personal story with us today. For more information on Lynch syndrome, visit jrushfoundation.org. And for more on the MSI testing discussed here today, go to promega.com.